Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Time out with Savio Juice and Jonathan Bosco. This is your boy Savio Juice. Um, I am not in the right mood to be joking around, uh, not being my usual self. Um, it is with a heavy heart that I'm making this video uh, because. I just woke up actually and usually what I do when I wake up is I read the news um, and I just came across this horrible news of Dr. Priyanka Reddy um, and my heart just sank immediately after reading the entire story. I'm just, I don't even have any words to say right now. I'm still in that shock. I still cannot believe what happened to her. Like, it is so unbelievable. I, st I still feel like I'm living in a dream. Um, how could those people do such things to her? It's uh, even the devil wouldn't do such things to anyone. This is just unbelievable. Um, for I'm sorry. I'm, I I just, I just got totally sidetracked and. Uh, for for our viewers who do not know what I'm talking about, let me just pull up uh, the news. Let me just give you an overview of what I'm talking about. Uh, so, so I am on the news crunch. The headline of this news goes something like this: Priyanka Reddy murdered, accused, photos released. How it all happened right here. Um, so. Just a summary of what happened, Priyanka Reddy murder case accused were caught by police within 24 hours using CCTV camera recorded found at the spot. Okay, so this I wasn't knowing about. I'm glad that uh, the accused are caught. Um, so these are the four accused people. A truck driver named Mohammad Pasha, Pasha Hills from Narayan Pet in Mahabubanagar district, Naveen. A cleaner, cleaner named K. Savalu, another cleaner named Siva, and they also have photos of all these four accused, as you can, as you guys can see here. Um, uh, they had plotted this, like um, I don't know if you guys can see the screen, but <clears throat> according to this uh, news uh, page and also multiple news report, the accused, the four accused guys saw Reddy parking her vehicle at ORR, ORR Toll Plaza and plotted to abduct her. So they spotted her, I believe in the morning, and um, assuming she would return to pick her vehicle, the accused punctured the scooter intentionally. When the unsuspecting victim picked her vehicle, the accused pretended to help her with the flat tire and later dragged her behind a line of trucks. Dragged her. Meanwhile, Hyderabad Police Commissioner told Sakshi that Shamsabad DCP N Prakash Reddy formed special to prove the case. The police went in there along with the she's talking to an under. Thereafter, the accused allegedly tortured and strangulated the victim, which was reported in autopsy report. The body was transported in a lorry along with her scooter to Shadnagar. Her body was then wrapped in bedsheet, doused in kerosene, and set afire. Can you just imagine the horror? I, I think half of the things, half of the uh, things are not mentioned in this news article, but based on what I read from the news article that I saw today morning was that she was actually raped horribly. She was raped and then she was dragged and then uh, she was uh, set on fire. Um, and I did see a blurred out version uh, picture of her body I was just in shock I and apparently she did uh, send a text to her sister uh, saying that she had a flat tire and uh, there are, there are very few guys trying to help her out um, and then later her sister did not receive any text from her um, so yeah I mean uh, apparently, this was uh, a plotted crime. 
Um, and my heart just goes out to the entire family of Dr. Priyanka Reddy. Uh, she looks like an innocent and a sweet girl, just just judging her by the photo. Um, and it's disheartening to see such horrible things happening to such innocent people. Um, but I'm glad that the accused are caught. I don't know how they are going to be uh, put on trial. Um, but I hope... I don't even know at this point of time what justice would be, what would be the right punishment that would give justice to Dr. Priyanka Reddy. I, I have no idea. I'm I'm just, I'm still in, I'm still in shock. Uh, and it's funny how this just happened a few days later uh, after we spoke about <clears throat> Mardani 2 um, in which Jonathan and Kinjal both joined me. And we were talking about this whole rape thing, about how it's not just an issue in India, but also a global issue. Um, that was very coincidental. And um, very bad things are happening in India right now. And I feel like not so long ago, there was something similar that happened. And we were just, I believe the name of the bad girl was Ayushi. Uh, or something like that and uh, the whole nation has was not even like completely recovered from that incident and now this happening is just shocking like I don't know what's happening and these four accused look uh, like youths to me um, what this makes me wonder what is lacking right now um, what is lacking in the mindset of these people that let them do such heinous crimes are we not educating people enough are are the families not raising their kids right i have no idea um but it's just disheartening to see such things happen because and this this has now blown out of proportion and it's it's visible on on a global scale and everyone is talking about it and it puts a very bad impression uh, of India uh, in the eyes of the foreigners. Um, people already have this impression of oh uh, you are from India uh, why are there so many rapes happening in, in India and this is true story I'm not even making this up like three years ago. Uh, I was uh, still in my university, I had not graduated and uh, I went on this hackathon which was kind of out of city so we took this bus ride, uh, it was like a three hours long bus ride or something and uh, I met this stranger, like a stranger student and uh, I was just like trying to spark a conversation and that's when he asked me uh, where are you from originally and I told him that I'm from India. and. You would not believe, guys, what his next question was. His question was, <clears throat> oh, I heard there's a lot of rapes happening in India. Why is that? I was, I was taken aback. So people, like young people here in the United States knowing about uh, things happening in India says a lot. And now this happening is just going to add on top of it. Um, I, I... I hope this ends soon. I, I I hope government takes some action, not only with the uh, with, with the accused people uh, that are convicted of this of this particular crime, but also in general. Like I don't, I feel like government should do something to educate such people coming from such backgrounds. Uh, to let them to let them know why this is wrong, uh, to prevent such activities from happening again in the future. Um, it's because of uh, people not being educated enough that they are committing such crimes. So I feel like I don't know whoever is the right body, like the government or any other body who is responsible for educating such people um, should really do that like take take the initiative of educating such people because i feel like that is something that is lacking right now in our country um so uh, in 
that's all i have to say uh, i mean i i'm still in shock and uh, my heart uh, like i said before my heart goes out to the family of dr priyanka reddy and uh, do let me know guys what you guys think about this case and how can we improve such uh, how can we improve uh, our nation by not letting such people commit such crimes like what can we do better and i would def- i share my opinion i share what i think uh, should be the right thing to do but please do uh, share your thoughts in the comment box below um and do let me know what you guys think uh of about how uh, we can improve the conditions in our country and make it better uh that was it guys for this video um please like share comment and subscribe for more such episodes and more such uh videos uh that was it for this video we'll see you guys next time until then time on